All right, so we're going to go through the blues. Is this the seventh week? Uh, I hope you got your evaluations in uh, or your critiques, your movie critiques and your live band critiques, uh, the ones of you that need to get those in. Those of you who haven't done that yet and you're not actually in school but you're just taking the course, feel free if you want to uh, you know, contact us now. might be a good idea. That's uh, towards the end of the, end of the uh, second half of the Red Book. You should be getting a pretty good idea about what it is that you'd like to do as far as the kind of styles you'd like to play. Many of you will uh, probably be zeroing in on that and learning to finger pick, learning to strum, learning to play this rhythm instrument. And of course, uh, Travis picking is important at this point. And uh, take a look at your reading because in the 10th week, we're gonna test you on reading in open position. You'll have to be able to play that um, one page it's all quarter notes, pretty easy, but you gotta be able to find them and stay with the metronome. And I'll demonstrate that in the 10th week video so you'll know what it should sound like and what you, uh, what you should be doing. All right, so here's seventh week. Let's take a look at the blues first at 110 beats a minute, which is kind of a nice, easy tempo. And uh, I'm gonna play them double, basically eighth note uh, feel. I'll probably play this the uh, first time around, probably be more like a rock feel you know, maybe get a little thumping going on so you can kind of get an idea. Those of you that are advancing quickly, you'll, you'll catch a few things just by watching this video as to how to create a different rhythm with your right hand, a little something with the left hand as well. So here's the blues at uh, 110 beats a minute. Uh, blues two, three, and the Parker changes. We're not gonna go back to blues one. Be two, three, and the Parker changes. Two, three, four, two, two, here we go. Parker changes her beach jazz. So that last pass was just some ideas there. You see I'm reaching up with my finger, getting this bottom strings and getting a little boogie woogie going on there. I'm still going back to my chords. It's all done with the right hand. So I'm still kind of, there's a Travis pick kind of underneath all that. So that's why I'm saying get your Travis pick down good so you got your thumb and your fingers to work with both ways. You do that with just a pick, it's a little bit more difficult. So work on your blueses this week. Get your Travis picking going. Study your scales and we're gonna go through right now just another little, again, it's not review, but it's to see where you're at with your spelling bee. You're gonna take your spelling bee at 140 beats a minute this time. And uh, we're gonna just do a, a couple passes and uh, give you something to play along with so you know where, you're, where, where the test zone is gonna be. So I need 140 beats a minute from you. Here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, here we are.
you doing? You getting there? 100, 140 beats a minute. Eighth notes on your scales. And we'll stop there. Okay, you need to do all five variations at that speed. Two more weeks, you'll have your final evaluation. It'll be finals for the school folks, and it'll be the final evaluation you get in the series before you go to the Green Book. Uh, those of you that uh, get your certificate at the end of this, and uh, that's everybody gets a certificate when they when they get past these certain milestones, and they either an evaluation because you're studying on your own uh, in private, uh, just like you're taking private lessons, when you get to a certain level, you get past the red book, you'll get a red book certificate that says you've you've completed at this level these particular skill sets and are ready for the the, the next uh, the next set of uh, studies. Again, uh, your green book will delve a little bit deeper into reading single notes, which again, we're, all we're going to do is have you read in open position and know where the notes are by the end of the of 20 weeks. So uh, the reading is something that comes. Uh, as far as single notes, comes kind of secondarily to learning to play in time, learning to read chord symbols, and do the basics that guitars are expected to do as part of their job in, in an ensemble. Uh, we will have, of course, uh, available products on our site that will uh, allow you to get some more reading material that's available to you, plus uh, the advanced level, the uh, lifetime membership. There's a ton of great reading material, lots of great literature in that part of the book. Uh, these, uh, these, uh, you know, uh, beginning and intermediate levels are taken from the main book, uh, Guitar Mechanics, the entire method, with the play-along CDs or the play-along audios you can get through from the cloud and so on. You also have, of course, the, uh, the membership, which uh, is something you can do a little more piece at a time. You're not quite under so much pressure because you won't, will not have gotten quite as much information, so it may not overload you. But either way, whatever's comfortable, take a membership, go level at a time, or, or uh, take that whole membership, become a lifetime member. You're gonna start in the same place, and uh, you can go at your own pace. And that's what's really good about the method, is all of this can be at your own pace. Those of you that are taking it as a class, you'll be expected to make certain milestones, and you can see that in the study guide and the syllabus, and just work towards that. We, we tailor this so it works for both sides, whether you're an individual, just an average everyday citizen wanting to learn to play the instrument, or you're taking it as a class, you'll be expected to make certain milestones just because it's in your best interest that you practice at that level. Otherwise, none of this stuff will stick and you won't remember it. You need to memorize a lot of stuff here. Uh, once you get part of it done, though, it doesn't seem like a lot. Again, it's like learning a language or anything else. Once you get, get it together, it's intuitive. I love that when they started that with me 20 years ago, said, oh, this is all intuitive, and it was brand new to me. I'd never sat down and worked a mouse. So they kept telling me the computer stuff was intuitive. I said, well, after I learned it, it feels totally intuitive. So again, that's kind of what it's like when you're studying a musical instrument. So work on your blueses this week, work on all your other skill sets, keep bouncing back and forth. Remember, don't try to do it all in one hour at a whack. Put five or 10 minutes into your scales, get your aerobics up first, you know, get your scales together, then work on your chord primers, maybe just do your finger picking exercises. You know, you can vary your finger picking exercises all over the place. Uh, we're gonna try one other thing before we go to uh, week eight here. We, we're gonna finish week seven with a little uh, Travis picking. This is the Chet Atkins or Travis picking, a little bit more syncopated than the uh, than the folk basic folk pick, which is also a, a stride pick with the with the thumb doing kind of what the left hand would do on a piano, boom, chink, boom, chink, giving you a, a four to the bar rhythm. So we're gonna take this at about 110 beats a minute, and uh, I'm going to Travis pick through uh, your first uh, first or your second page, second page of your chord primers, your second chord primer. We'll Travis pick through that. So at about 110 beats a minute should be just about right. One, two, three, four.
And that's what they should sound like when you get that, that part of your Travis picking together. You get that syncopated version where you're playing, and I'll show you real quickly, but it's on your finger picking uh, 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 video as well. So I'm just gonna double that up so you get it right now. So it's here, one and two and three and four and, that's your basic folk pit. So Travis pick is, so you kind of break that up. You get an eighth note, uh, something happened on every eighth note past the first beat. So take a look at that in your uh, right hand tablature, part of your book. Practice that syncopated rhythm and use your chord primers as exercises, along with the exercise that's written specifically for the Travis picking section. And until the eighth week, keep practicing. Thanks for being part of this. Mm -hmm.